water, not toward your house. And with that, Miss Pinellas County was crowned the new Miss Florida. Laura McKeeman took home the title last night at the Mahaffey Theater. Laura is a graduate from UF and a Rays fan. You may recognize her too. She works for Fox Sports covering the team. Not even 12 hours later, look who's in the studio with us. And that's the first time that you've seen that? That is the first time I saw that. And that was actually scary to see myself acting so crazy. But it was such an incredible well, moment. I gotta <laughs> ask you, because the thing I love most about things like that mm -hmm. is the pure joy that you yes. see in people. Can you describe that feeling when they announced you as the winner? Well, it, there were so many amazing women. There were 42 of us that I thought, there's no way this is actually going to be me this year. And I, I had gone into it feeling like I was winning just being a part of it because I was representing Pinellas County, a county that is very close to my heart. So I thought, hey, no matter what, this is great. And then I'm standing there, and I remember thinking to myself, wait a second, I'm standing here with only one other person, so one of us <laughs> is going to win. And, and I, I mean, just pure joy because all of these women are so so incredible and I get the chance to represent them truly amazing okay I just asked you this before what was your talent it was ballet on point so I did La Esmeralda <laughs> and I had a tambourine and you know it's one of those it's one of my favorite dances I've done it uh, my whole life pretty much so it was really fun <laughs> okay so what's next in the next year because you have a lot of mm -hmm. things that you have to do here well uh, lots of appearances I'll be representing the state all over the place uh, just making these appearances we do a lot with the Everglades Foundation because that's very important for the Miss Florida organization and of course, my personal platform, which is called A Royal Day, reaches out to nursing homes and those that they are trying to make sure that they know how much we appreciate them. So I'm hoping to spread that more throughout the state. Okay, one of the <laughs> things that you do, and I don't know how you're going to keep doing this with all the stuff that you have to do coming up, you yes, do sports. I do. You cover the Rays. Yes. So we have the highlights from the Rays game last <laughs> which night. Which I missed, but. You missed, yes. but we gave you some copy yes, here. We want you to you. call the okay. highlights coming up right here. Let's do it. Well, of course, here we have Matt Moore, who has been very good tonight. Uh, last night, excuse me, was not his best night. Left in the fifth <laughs> after giving up five runs, five doubles and five walks, and took the loss. Joe Madden still saying they're standing behind their rookie. They want to see him do better, though. I mean, this is not uh, what the Rays need from him. So, of course, then we have Shelly Duncan. Two-run oh. homer. Oh, that hurts. That's some insurance right there for the Tribe, and, and I think that helped them out a lot. B.J. Upton, he did have a solo shot in the ninth. Was not enough, because at that point, this thing was out of reach. I mean, coming away from this game, though, I think the biggest thing that sticks out to me is those walks for Matt Moore, because when he's walking guys, and of course getting guys on base, not good for the Rays. The thing that sticks out for me, their good luck charm, you, <laughs> you weren't there. They needed me, no. They needed you. <laughs> hey, we're going to need you coming up in the show, because you're coming back to do some well and intro some other stories, right? Weather is, uh, it's hot. That's what I have to say about <laughs> Bill, that. <laughs> Bill, that's it. That's your job. You're done. Okay, so we're coming back after this break. Laura's coming with us, so stay with us. We'll be right back.